God speaks in many ways. And one topic, we can open it and you can receive the revelation to be blessed. Now, I'm going on back about two verses we read. The first one we read from uh, our prophet chapter 10, 22. The Bible says, The blessing of the Lord made a person rich. Amen. The blessing of the Lord made the person a rich. Now, when we begin to open the definition of that word according to uh, Deuteronomy 8, 18 is a power to do work. God is giving you power to do work. Amen. To do work or to excel in your life. Another word I can say, the blessing of the Lord helps someone to excel in everything you do in your life. Now to, to you to understand this, when God called Abraham, he, he blessed him. Can you just put me a Genesis, Genesis a chapter 11, please? And uh, we start from verse 1. Please, Dini, bring me to Genesis, please. Or 12, please. Chapter 12, please. The Lord said to Abraham, Go out from your land, your relative, and your father's house to the land that I will show you. Two, please. I will make you into a great nation. I will make you in a great nation. Follow me here. God is saying to Abraham, I will make you. God is the maker. Amen. God is saying, I will make you according to my way. The purpose I'm getting you out of where you are because I will make you a person I want you to be. And the person I want you to be, I want you to be a great. Come on, somebody. And I began to understand, according to the promise of the Lord for Abraham, that promise was just given to Abraham himself, but was connected again to the descendant of Abraham, the carrier of the promise which was made by Abraham to be the great. Come on, somebody, amen. God said to Abraham, I will make you great. Every believer, according to the Bible, we are the great. Come on, amen. According to the Bible, according to the revelation of the word of God, you and I, we are called to be a great person before the Lord. Now, follow me up here. Say, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. I will bless you. I will make your name a great. And then you will be a blessing. Now, follow me up here. You will be. This word is a pastor friend trying to define it. It's not finished with the S, but this word here finished. The sin will say, You will be a seed planted for many nations. Come on. I can try to use it this way. I say, You are not my seed. Amen. You are a seed I'm sowing now for the nation. And through you, Abraham, this seed shall not die. Will it keep going on? Because those that will come out of you, they will carry the same seed. And now, if you and I, we are the children of Abraham, we are the carrier of the seed, which is the blessing, and that blessing must, must produce. I want to show you the Bible. We know the person is blessed, not just by the preaching, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. But there is an evidence, tangible evidence for the blessing of the Lord. Come on, amen? You need to understand there is always the evidence. Born again is great. Receiving Jesus is great. But you can't operate it in this world without the evidence of the blessing of the Lord to maintain your life. Come on, somebody. Otherwise, you begin to compromise the word of God by saying, Where is it? As long as God is already given to you. The same blessing God bless. Adam and Eve was blessing, with those blessings, but blessing, God bless them. The same one, the same blessing again, God bless uh, chapter 9 of Genesis. God bless Noah. Blessing. And the same blessing again come to Abraham. And the same blessing again come to Joseph. 
and the same place again come to David, and the same place again be revealed in the life of Jesus Christ. I told you in Galatians chapter 4, when you read there, you found about that. They are speaking about that. But my question is it not? God said to Abraham, I will make your name great and I will bless you. You will be a blessing. You will be a blessing. And a lot of what the pastor Philip is saying. The blessing is not because I'm blessing well. That is a blessing. Blessing well is the result of the blessing. Amen? But dressing well is not a blessing. Amen. Amen. It's not because I'm driving a good car that I mean I'm blessed. No. Good car is not, it's just the production of who I am. Come on, somebody. Driving a good car is the production of who I am. Because there is a blessing in my life, and that blessing must produce. You know, what I begin to see in the uh, creation realm, a lot of people, we are dying because of lack of knowledge. And the pastor friend was saying, when we begin to speak about the message of prosperity, the people that don't accept it and they want us to be broke. I know. I just get it now. <laughs> In fact, what makes the difference between us and the not Christian is the blessing. Yes. Because a big movie star, he has riches, but he's not blessed. Yes. Yes. You yes. see the difference? Yes. All those people, they are not those stupid, the occult, uh, you name them, and yes. Freemason and uh, Scientologists. They have a big jumbo jet. They have riches. But they are not blessed. Come on. They have, if others, they say you can have a big house. You can buy a big house, but you can't buy a home. Come on. Amen. You can buy a medicine, but you never buy a healing. You can buy a lot of people, but you can't buy a good friend. That's what makes the difference. So all those people, they have big houses, but they can't sleep. Before them to sleep, they need big bills. All bills. They need all these big bills and, uh, I call them, antidepressants to... But they have, they have it all. But what makes the difference is a blessing. Because we are blessed. And uh, our blessing cause riches. They have, uh, they, uh, in fact, if you have to choose, choose a blessing than the riches. Because if you never riches, you are not enjoying it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, all those big names, big money, they don't sleep. Uh, Margaret Jasmine said he was like a kid. He started going to the, the tree and uh, to, to, to pass some times. But he had it all. When they, the, the problem, the world has a different definition of a blessing. According to the world of her eyes, all these big names, you know them, all oh, they are blessed. They are not blessed, they have riches. But those riches with a lot of souls, they don't sleep, they don't drink, they laugh, they are in, in drugs. When, when I was in the Bible school, I understand, the people use drugs a lot in Australia, they are wealthy people. Not the people you see on the street. The big NDC of drugs is wealthy people. So the difference is a blessing. We are blessed and we have to produce. They have the result, but they don't have a blessing and they are in chaos. Now let us go quick with you from the book of Genesis again. Uh, chapter 24. This is where I will stand and then I will close here. Genesis uh, chapter 24. We are reading from uh, this. I will show you the evidence when God said this person is blessed and what we see through that blessing. 
And can you just open with me from uh, chapter of uh, you know Genesis chapter 24, and we are reading from 34, please. You can read from there. Can you read? Wait, 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 wait. Did you have your and Abraham's yes. servant? Abraham is not speaking about his own blessing. Come on, somebody. Amen. Abraham is not speaking about his own blessing, but a servant of Abraham began to knowledge what God has done for his master. The fulfillment. Oh, come on. When, when the God says something, it will come to pass no matter what. When God called him out of his country, he was not blessed yet. Come on, somebody. But God said, if you obey me, you do what I said to you to do. This you will, you will see what I will do. Do you know every spoken word of God is the power inside? Amen. Amen. Every spoken word of God is the life inside. Every spoken word of God, if you apply it in your life, the way it says, you will see what it says to see. Amen. But the problem is, so that we compromise the word of God. When there is a shortcut, amen, when there is a shortcut and long way, it appears like the word of God is long way. Let me take a shortcut. Of course, the shortcuts will help you for temporary, but will not bring good results at the end. Come on, somebody. How many times the people that prefer the shortcut at the end of the day, they are disappointed? They are disappointed. As you know, I was, I was speaking with one of my one of my uh, younger uh, sister, you know. I was giving her advice before she get involved in the relationship with one of the men. I said to I said to her, please, if you want a man to value you, don't rush. Take your time and wait. Because if you rush, believe me, that man will not value you again. Don't just run away like you are. You want to protect me from. If I don't believe this man will run away from me, I said, don't do it. And one day he flew in the state where he was living. He came to visit me. Said, no, pastor, I have something to tell you. I'm going to stay with this man. I know what I'm doing. I said, you don't know what you are doing. Don't do it. He said, Pastor, I know myself. Trust me. I said, you know, the person who marry you, you are about to go to stay with him. And you are saying to me, you know what you are doing? I said, you don't know. Wait. He said, Pastor, just watch me. And uh, you know, in the beginning, everything will be like honey. Sweet. Come on, you know about us. The beginning, everything is honey and sweet and milk and bread and everything you feel like. This is the way the life is like morning, breakfast and everything and going well. And, but is a killer. Amen. When you went there, the first thing to secure the relationship should pray and say, I got the man. Big mistake. Amen. By thinking having a baby that you get married, you put yourself in a bad condition. A lot of people that try that, but today they regret. Amen. And they get to try another baby, today they are going to divorce. By the way, they never be married. And the men don't care about the children, you don't care about the girl. What you get? You do. Can I say to you something? You know. When you are not applying the word of God, don't choose the shortcut because the shortcut is not the solution. The shortcut is not the healing. The shortcut is not the happiness. The shortcut is not the peace. The shortcut will give you temporary peace, but at the end of the day, you will be in trouble. Amen? Amen. Never fix the problem. Shortcut never fix problem. Take your time. Amen? Take your time. If the word of God says sleep before you get it, before you get it, sleep first. Don't wait, you didn't sleep. Sleep first. And the Bible said, you know, the servant of Abraham, he began to give the evidence 
of the blessing of Abraham. He began to say, I'm the servant of Abraham. And the Lord has greatly blessed my master. And he became a rich. Because God blessed him, because of the blessing of the Lord upon him, and that blessing bring wealth to my master. Amen. He become rich. He is speaking about the things. You know, I'm about to speak about the things because I know you need the things. Amen. Some people they need a house. Some people they need a car. Some people they need a marriage. Some people they need a children. Some people, but there is a blessing of the Lord upon your life to open and lock a key. We will help you to receive whatever you're expecting if you obey the Lord. According to what Pastor Abel says. Amen. There is something you need to do in your life. Wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord and apply the word of the Lord in your life. Keep in your mind, worldly system is not God's system. Worldly system is not kingdom system. Your idea are not God's idea. Don't try to help God. But it's serve Him. Amen. Because sometimes we scared. I need to help God because I don't want God to fail. God never fail. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't scare about God failing. He never fail. If He says something, it will come to pass. And now, look now what the Bible says. What God gives to Him? The Bible says, God blessed he become rich. Now the Bible began to define what kind of riches Abraham become. Come on somebody. God said, the servant of Abraham said, God bless my servant, my master, he become a rich now. You can say I'm rich before the evidence of what you're possessing. Come on somebody. Amen. <coughs> or you can say I'm rich because when you say I'm rich, we are looking about you know, what you have. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Am I making sense, Pastor Philip? Come on. This is what he says. He has given him what? Come on. What is God given to him? The blessing of the Lord bring what to Abraham? The blessing of the Lord bring what to Abraham? The blessing of the Lord bring what in Abraham. The blessing of the Lord bring what in Abraham. The blessing of the of the Lord bring what in Abraham. The blessing of the Lord in Abraham bring what? Come on, somebody. What again? You can tell me. Those are the evidence of the blessing. The things. Which Abraham he didn't have before, but because of the blessing of the Lord upon him, and brought us what you and I we can read today. Abraham. Amen. And when you go so far, sled and common and donkey, and everything here was more significant. Amen. Silver and the gold, silver represents money. You know, the servant, you know, the other stuff when we get to go one on one to understand when the Bible began to explain about those things, to understand the reason why God did it in Abraham's life. I'm about to proclaim the blessing of the Lord upon your life. Amen. Stand up where you are, please. That's it. You just see it. I want the way you see the thing to change. As today is our first Sunday. As today is our first Sunday. I want to see something in you, in your life, what you never see before. Did you hear bring me Genesis, please, chapter 12 again, verse 3.
The blessing of the Lord shall be more tangible upon your life in the name of Jesus. The blessing of the Lord shall be more palpable in your hand in the name of Jesus. I'm here to activate the blessing of the Lord upon your life. I say I'm here to activate it. The blessing of the Lord to be activated upon your life in Jesus' name. The ability to excel. The ability to succeed. The ability to make wealth. The ability to be promoted. The ability for those expecting marriage. I said this year I open the gate of the heaven for your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say for those I feel in my spirit for everyone who's in the church expecting to get married even though you are not 
Let it symbol now. I can see in the heaven, God is about to release, God is about to release the blessing for you, for your men, for your husband, for your wife in this year, in the name of Jesus Christ. For those who are expecting their business, I release it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. And the Father, I pray for every single student, those are in this place, that shall finish their studying with distinction in the name of Jesus. And that shall be established, Lord God, in this nation, in the name of Jesus. Father, as I pray again, this is the last sound of the Lord God for us to experience the empty seat in this place. And the Bible said, Father, the blessing of the Lord bring men and the women. Mighty God, let the blessing which is upon our life cause us, Lord God, to be able to pay attention of many people, Lord God, to come in the kingdom and bring them in your house in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for the blessing of men and the women. And the Bible said, to bring men and the women to Abraham. And I pray, Lord God, for that prophecy to be fulfilled, Lord God, in our life, in our church, in everything we do, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. I give you praise and the glory and the honor. In Jesus' mighty name. And the people of God say, Amen.